Hi, Alan. How are you today? You all right? Yeah, good, good, Richard. Yourself? Like, yeah, I'm not too bad. Fun's trying to come out here in Edinburgh, so hopefully, hopefully it'll come out soon. Absolutely. So the reason we're doing this, just a quick five-minute chat, is uh, obviously your, your Get Back to Golf tour. Um, explain to everybody a little bit about, about what it is. It's really simple, Richard. I mean, as we know this year, there's been no opens for the amateurs to play in. There's been nothing really for PGA professionals in Scotland. So it's been a frustrating year uh, for our elite, for, for everyone. But, you know, I'm conscious that elite players, top amateurs and pros, they, they, they need to keep that competitiveness going. They need a card in their hand. And that's been missing now since well, pretty much last year. So I just came up with an idea um, where get venues on board, and you can post a score in a 10-day window. Um, you go there, you can choose your own partners. It's open to amateurs with a handicap of four or better, and all golf professionals. That includes ladies, um, includes youths, includes seniors. Everybody, it's a free-for-all. As I say, the only restrictions is a handicap four or better and, and being a PGA pro. So you choose your own partners, which is a good thing. You can choose your friends, choose people you like, uh, which is always nice. Um, book your own tea time uh, at the course. And basically, uh, text me your scores at night, and and that's it. It's as simple as that. And I and I uh, reveal all the scores at the end of the ten days, so nobody knows how they've actually done until uh, the thing, the whole thing's completed after ten days. So it's been a great success to start with, and there's a little bit of luck involved as well, Richard, because you know, depending on what day you can play, the the pins could be a wee bit tougher. On the Tuesday, on the Friday, if you go on the Friday, they might be a bit easier. It could be blowing a gale and raining on the Tuesday, and it could be flat calm on the Friday. So a lot of people are checking the forecast a week in advance before they're booking the tea time. But for me, Richard, that just adds to the uniqueness and the fun format as well. And uh, the, the feedback's been fantastic. As I say, we had our first event at uh, Crail last week, and uh, with over 90 people playing from, from all over Scotland, which was amazing. And they're all loving it. They're genuine. People are genuinely enjoying it. So for me, that you know, that that's brilliant. I'm, I think it's great. And and say it's been. Hopefully, the guys will keep supporting it. Uh, we've got eight events up until the middle of October, and then I'll review it and see how we're looking, and maybe do something similar next year. I was having a little chuckle there because I did play in it, as you know. Um, I and did, I, picked, yeah. I probably picked the worst day you could possibly pick because we were so quickly <laughs> we even got off the tee. But um, I think you know. On behalf of everybody that's playing in it, and everybody, all the pros in Scotland and obviously the elite amateurs as well, you know, I, I personally and on behalf of all of them would like to thank you for doing it. I think it's a great initiative. I think, you know, it's something that was missing. Lots of guys who are competitive are being given a chance to play, but also guys that aren't competitive are given a chance to play with their pals. And you know, it's great value for money. And if anybody hasn't decided to play in it, go and play in it. It's, they're, they're brilliant. There's the one that's currently running is Murray's Hall. Um, yep. There's Montrose, and then after that is Duddingston, and then Duddingston, beyond the yeah. those other events as well. So I think yep. it's brilliant. So we have had a result burst already. Al, there was some some reasonably good golf played um, in the first event. Yeah, so the first one, Richard, was at the Craig Head Links at uh, Crail. There's the two courses there, the Balcomia Links and, and uh, Craig Head. So Craig Head's a fantastic golf course. I hadn't played it for about 15 years, and I couldn't believe how much it matured. I thought it was a, a fantastic test of golf. We were lucky, uh, unlike you, we got a cracking day, beautiful weather, no wind. Um, so we were one of the lucky ones there. Um, it was a, a absolutely great venue and I was delighted um, you know to get to get off and running at such a such a great uh, golf course and David Roy the general manager and his team were so welcome and they were absolutely fantastic Crail so it was a, a great one to get under our belt so so yeah so Tom Higson uh, Tom's the teaching pro at uh, Glen Eagles Tom's a regular on the Tartan Tour super player a uh, really nice young guy and he'd an eight under par 64 at Craig Headlinks which was a as you know, was a fantastic score. Um, so he had a, a three-shot win from uh, a young guy, Robbie Morrison. Robbie has been based out in Australia for uh, the last uh, few years uh, and was an amateur. He actually played in the Victoria Open uh, European Tour event earlier this year, or last year as an amateur. So Robbie's now back home. Uh, his, his dad, uh, they brought him back to Scotland. So he's now you know, chapping at the bit to get playing in competitive events. So he's now turned pro. Um, so Robbie was second, he had a five under par 67. And uh, Joe Bryce uh, was a leading amateur. Joe shot uh, four under 68 uh, to finish overall third. And Joe um, was a, a past winner of the battle trophy.
Murphy at Crail, which is a 72-hole prestigious amateur event. So he obviously um, he obviously likes the golf course. I'll not mention what you shot. Um, uh, Tete had a level par 72. Uh, so I finished, I think, in a tie for ninth. So I was quite happy with a top 10 finish. So I, I, was, I was delighted with that. So good, good, good start. You, it was very kind of you to keep that sort of information to yourself. I'm sure nobody really cares what I shot anyway. But um, <laughs> let's see what happens with the next one. I'm really keen to keep playing just to get out and, you know, even get a game on some courses that I haven't played before. I haven't played Crail. Um, I haven't played Murray's Hole for years. I haven't played Montrose for years. So I'm looking forward to trying to get a wee game round there. Um, so, yeah. as I say, um, once again, on behalf of everybody, Alan, I think, you know, you need a huge pat on the back, a lot of thanks, you know, it's it's no easy task to get this that sort of thing together, and uh, well done, thank you, and uh, I look forward to, to the next events. No, I appreciate that, Richard, and, and a lot of people are saying, that, you know, how do you find the time, you've got your full-time job with golf, and, and to be honest, that's the beauty for me, you know, I don't, I don't need to be there when you guys play, you go and book your own tea time, uh, you choose your own partners and you just, as I say, text me or email me the scores at night. And all I do is update the scores and, and you guys are kind of left to do it. So there's a little bit of social media for me, um, a little bit of that. But that's great. Listen, if, if I feel I can do my bit to help to help the guys, then I'm more than happy to do it. There's nothing in this for me, just apart from the, the love of the game and my love for Scotland and my love for the home of golf. And, and if I can do something just a little bit to help to help guys and, and bring people together, friendship, have a nice day. Even if you don't win anything, at the end of the day, you're hopefully getting a, an enjoyable game of golf on a great golf course for 30 quid and you're getting to choose your pals who you play with. So if nothing else, you know, enjoy your day on the golf course and, um, you know, that's what it's all about. Absolutely, Alan. And um, I'll hopefully bump into you out and about. Um, if not, take care, look after yourself and continue to play the good golf you're playing. Thanks, right, sir. We'll, ca right. we'll catch up with you next week. We'll tell you the scores from Murray's Hall next week. I'll keep mine to myself. Take care. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks, okay. Richard.